All right, I am making pula now. Um, and pula has many same ingredients as hoska, um, except it uses cardamom instead of fruit. It uses um, slightly fewer eggs, little more dairy, actually it uses cream, um, and you can use milk, heavy cream, um, heavy cream mixed with whey if you need to. It's pretty forgiving. The cream is going to give it the tenderest, but if you only have heavy cream, you need to dilute it a little. You can go ahead and do that. So we've got our eggs, our cream, our salt, a little less salt, butter, sugar, yeast, and water, doing some percolating, and our flour. So while you can use a uh, ground cardamom that you buy at the store it's not going to be as flavorful as if you grind it yourself so um i get actual cardamom seeds some people will get the pods and then you know take the seeds out and then grind them um i just get the seeds and then i throw them in my little spice grinder grind them up and we're good to go all right so um i skipped the grinding part for you because it's very loud um so here's my Ground. They're more coarsely ground than they would be if you bought commercial, commercially ground, but I like it that way. Um, and uh, like some of the other uh, enriched sweetbreads out there, you want to make sure that you add the butter at the right time, which will be after you've added some of the flour. Um, this is a step that I got wrong a lot when I was learning how to make this. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, it'll still work out if you add it too soon or too late but it works best if you add it at the right moment. Great. the pula dough is ready look at it it's beautiful so um <clears throat> this is going to make um six loaves um and each loaf will be a braid so um i have to cut it into six pieces which will then be cut into three pieces and braided and thrown on a tray that tray will be greased uh with shortening um i've done shortening i've done um grease and flour. I've done flour and really greasing is the best unless you're going to use parchment paper which I really don't care to do because it feels very wasteful. So um, yeah so I'm going to grease those then I'll split up the dough and start shaping it and it will rest and then it will bake. <music>
pulla is ready. I got interrupted partway through um, shaping my pulla, so half is ready first, which is actually just as well because um, baking two things in my oven at the same, two, two trays of bread in my oven at the same time tends to result in an extra dark bottom and I'm not thrilled with that. So I don't want that on my pulla. So I'm going to brush these with egg wash and then um, sprinkle with pal zucker, pearl sugar. And then the first one will go in the oven. So egg wash is just a beaten egg. You can add water if you need your egg to go a little bit farther. If you're doing a lot of cooking, you really only want to use one egg this way. Um, or, you know, you can just use one egg if you're lazy and don't want to have a lot of leftover egg that you're going to be like, do I give this to the dog or dump it in the sink? If you're having trouble with your pulla ending up extra dark, you might want to turn down your oven. Um, breads with a lot of milk in them can darken a little bit more, and so they end up burned on the bottom when the rest of it's not quite done. So consider 325 instead of 375 or 350. The egg wash, in addition to making the loaves a nice golden brown, has the advantage of helping the pearl sugar stick. right-handed so my arm's not blocking. Just sprinkle a little on there. The first ones went into the oven and I had to pull them back out because I forgot the pearl sugar because I don't know where my brain is right now. It's not here. 